What's good, y'all? Back for another shave. Um, as you can tell, I'm all lathered up because uh, I was busy uh, making my how-to uh, face lather video for those who have been asking. So if you want to see the lather, you could uh, go click on that. I'm going with my, I haven't showed this on the channel yet, I don't think, my Everset uh, K2 made by the Varley, uh, by uh, the artisan behind it. I liked my gray one so much that I went and got this one. So um, yeah, the lather's pretty much dialed in. I'm just kind of painting for fun at this point. But uh, yeah, the soap, we'll be going back to Lothor. Lothor Grooming Calm. Uh, anyways, though, I wanted to mention before I start the shave, for those that are wondering, uh, I paid for this. Um, I don't want people to think, I don't know, a lot of people uh, tend to assume, or I don't know, I've been hearing that uh, like YouTubers kind of uh, just get a bunch of free shit and they peddle it. Um, everything I've used on my channel up until now has been paid for by me. Uh, I've never used anything on this channel, at least by an artisan. So Ken might've sent me a few free things or um, my buddy who sent me the MDC. Uh, and then I used Konpai, that was like three times and they were all from other wet shavers. So um, just wanted to be transparent because a lot of people tend to respect that transparency. So I'm coming out here and telling you everything, every single soap on my channel besides those three soaps that I mentioned uh, have been paid for. So yeah, no one's peddling me or uh, forcing me to do this. If I really like the product, I just enjoy it. Some other people might feel differently, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, just wanted to get that out of the way. We'll be going with the Max Brecker. And the name of the scent soap, is, uh, soap scent is called Calm. As you can see, I guys got a haircut. Working on about 24 hours of growth. Um, yeah, and to what I said earlier, there's nothing wrong with receiving that for free. But what I noticed is a lot of people appreciate when it's disclosed. Um, I just never had to disclose it, I guess. So that's why I never really talked about it. But uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's all there is to say. Nothing positive or negative, just stating it. So uh, I did do a Max Brecker shave off camera yesterday and it was pretty tuggy. Today it's much better. I think it just had to do with how I stropped it. I got really lazy on the strop that day or yesterday. So that's kind of where I'm at. Today it's like a lot smoother. And surprisingly, surprisingly my one-handed shave went pretty well. I'll go over the soap scent in the second pass. Hey man, it feels really good. It's kind of weird, man. When you start straight razor shaving, for like weeks straight, it kind of feels like gentler, more gentle on its, on your skin. It's kind of a weird sensation. Um, when I used that Wolfman the other day, well, that was a higher gap. So that was one of the more aggressive Wolfmans. So I can't really speak. Maybe that's why it, this feels gentler, <laughs> but I mean, this is no guard. This is like a straight big ass blade. So I don't know. I don't know, but uh, so far it's been feeling gentler. Um, well, I know one thing about straights is they're less sharp than machined blades. They're just, they just are, but it seems like Max did a fantastic job with the edge. Uses synthetic stones. Great first pass, just gonna wet my face. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, so this, this brush feels similar to my other one. It kind of feels like uh, the hair feels similar to B6. A little bit softer, but set differently. That's all I could really describe it. This is an HD knot, so 
I find it to be slightly less dense than the declarations, but it's still plenty dense to give you that backbone that you're looking for. And at a 29 millimeter, um, you really won't be missing that density because it's just, it's a big enough knot. Um, this soap is fantastic in my opinion, just because it could take a ton of water. So in my opinion, it doesn't have the best density on the market. Like I, I feel like Kaizen has a better density, but uh, it's still pretty good and it could still take a ton of water. So yeah, it's, I mean, I've never had a bad shave with it yet. And I think this is like my third or fourth shave with it. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Another thing too, is I think the post shave might be the best I've ever used on a soap, like not with a splash. Cause I said, I said Oaken was like my top soap splash combo with post shave. This is probably like my best soap only combo, <laughs> but I would probably have to try more soaps without splashes to make a more confident uh, <laughs> uh, comment on that. But I, I'm pretty confident. It's probably due to the dimethicone. It's just, which is like a, a cosmetic ingredient. It just gives you like a waxy, waxy layer on your face. It feels protective and it feels phenomenal. Like, I really don't, I just don't need a post shave product with it, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, so, sorry for the soap scent. This is called Calm. I don't know if I showed that. So uh, I saw, I think his name, uh, I forgot his name. Someone else used it um, and he loved it. Got the neck here. So this is a lavender forward scent, which I was really worried about. Um, I almost decided not to buy it, but at the very last second, I changed my mind. I said, I'm curious, let me try this scent. I don't really like lavender a ton, I'm very picky, but boy, I'm glad I did. So um, yeah, like I said, it's a fresh lavender accord. It's got some green notes at the, the mid, and uh, at the base, you got some powdery notes. And what else do we have? We have eucalyptus. So I definitely pick up that eucalyptus and it's quite beautiful to me. Uh, I'll get that on the third pass. Yeah, so yeah, the eucalyptus and the lavender is not like overpowering. I think that's what makes me hate lavender. It's just, very like strong pungent and it almost makes me nauseous when it's like too strong but this is like the perfect amount of lavender it's just calming like the name suggests very accurate <laughs> very enjoyable yeah wow i mean combination of this edge and this soap knock on wood is just freaking dope Um, so yeah, second pass is all good. Nice. Yeah, so I think this is, uh, you know, this scent is like a sleeper for me, at least like for me, because I thought it was just like plain old lavender, but I don't know why eucalyptus is just not used more uh, in soaps nowadays. It's just not. Um, it's a shame because I love eucalyptus. <laughs> Yeah, very glad it's in this scent. Uh, yeah, it's just, you do get some powder as well, but it's it's a very light powder. This is not your barbershop powder type of powder. It's just, I mean, it, it is, but that powder in barbershops tend to be way more prominent in this. This is just very light, very easy. Uh, and like I said, calm, like the name suggests. So if you're a fan of lavender, I think this is a must, but if you also like eucalyptus, um, you might like this as well. Dope. Also, yeah, I did notice it did come to the Razor Company as a retailer. Um, it sold out quick, but I think he's getting more. Also, <coughs> it would be really cool to see him at West Coast Shaving. No idea if that's happening, but we'll get into my last pass here. Like I said, I do have some a really cool some really cool knots on the way. 
and dope razor that I've been wanting for months and months. You will see it. Oh, I gotta go lighter pressure on here. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, man, I've really come into my own here with this uh, razor. I think getting this razor really forced me to commit because it's like a, it's a big purchase. And I think that was kind of like the determining factor here to, for me to just practice, do it every day. And I'm noticing a difference in the shades I'm getting. And that's awesome. <clears throat> oh, all right. Pretty much almost done here. But yeah, like I said, uh, so yeah, the sense strength is about five. I'd say it's a little bit stronger on, yeah, it's a little bit stronger than the other sense though. So they're all kind of like mid from the artisan, but this is kind of like, sorry, just cleaning up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I'd say like they're all kind of mid, but this is on the, sh the higher uh, part of that mid. Uh, Ken put it perfectly in his video, he says, he said the soap scents are really consistent through the shave. I'm just kind of rubbing lather on my face. <laughs> um, wow. And then um, we'll rinse off in a second. And then I'll meet you guys for the post. Yeah, so I haven't been cleaning up with my DEs just cause like I've been getting close enough shaves where I can kind of leave it. It's not 99% BBS, mind you, but as you can see from the beginning of the video, well, I had lather, but it's definitely a close shave, so. Awesome shave, guys. The post shave is, uh, the pros of this soap to me are it's ease of lather, it's a uh, long lasting post shave. It's got like a waxy feel without feeling oily or tacky. Um, yeah, and the scents are kind of like well done. They're well thought out. Um, they're intricate in my opinion um but yeah pretty awesome scent if you like lavender and or eucalyptus i check it out um but yeah that's it for the shave guys overview of the gear was max sprecher 80s farley ever set and both are grooming calm all right guys catch you guys in the next one peace